Hey everyone, uh, Erkin here from HDD Recovery. I got this uh, interesting case I want to demonstrate today. Something that um, uh, is not uh, done by a lot of companies. A lot of companies will actually turn a case like that down, saying that uh, there is nothing to be to be done there. Um, but long story short, it's uh, Seagate 7200.12 with a uh, single head and that head is warped. Uh, somebody m must have dropped that drive heavily or something along those lines. And what happened was that, that drive got busted pretty badly. So I got it in my laminar floor bench right now. Uh, also, uh, I got some pretty cool uh, <laughs> way of showing you how I deal with uh, scratches on the disc and how they can be avoided. When it comes down to the data recovery, it, it, one thing that I know for sure is that there are really no, no standard rules that apply to uh, getting the case done as long as you can get it done. That's, that's what counts, right? So, uh, so people who um, would try to oppose the ways of how successful recovery can be achieved um, it's really they just don't know enough about the topic. Um, there are tools that uh, could cost thousands of dollars to obtain to do a simple task to make your life easier, but that doesn't mean that there are no other tools that can do the same thing. Uh, in my case, right now, for example, uh, there is a scratch in a parking area which has to be avoided, and how we avoid that scratch really doesn't matter, just as long as it's not um, accessible to the new head assembly, because if it is, the new head assembly will die upon contact immediately like right away it hits it and it's dead so anything that can save and force heads not to go in that direction is actually gonna be pretty good technique and what I'll show you today may or may not work I don't know yet because uh, I haven't finished the case but hopefully it will and hopefully uh, you know you'll learn something new to avoid the scratch on that, sur on that parking ramp, we need to uh, force the drive, block the drive out from going that far, okay? So the bump stop will, instead of hitting this uh, piece of metal here, which is part of the casing, it needs to hit something that's slightly uh, before that, okay? So to offset that scratch. Uh, for that, I'm gonna use this tool and I'm just gonna dab a little bit of glue and let it solidify right on that edge that will prevent the new head assembly that we're gonna put in there from going into the scratch. Looking at the surfacing now, I do see there are several spots on the drive. The camera is probably not gonna be able to pick it up, but there are several spots where there are some uh, individual gougings. These are the type of consequences that are not reversible, okay? If we're not able to get this drive spinning and initializing on its own right now, uh, it's not gonna initialize at all. There's only one surface of the disc. The downside of that is that it only has one service area. So if we can't read that service area, if that service area got damaged because the head is already damaged and God who knows how many times he tried to power it on, there is nothing to be done here. So this is the part 
part where we're going to be applying the glue. Hopefully it will allow us to image. This drive is humming away like a good patient who is in the recovery. This is the task that we're running for disc imaging. Um, I went after the entire structure. You guys can see the speed is not all that great, but it's moving steady. It's not hesitating, which is important. And this is the critical stuff here. As you can see that that's the drive that we were working on. I am I'm very happy with the turnout because uh, this is something new. I haven't shot anything like this before for you guys. Uh, just uh, shows how data recovery doesn't really have any specific standards on how things should be done. Honestly, I don't know of any tool that will allow uh, the recovery from something like this to be happening. So I just got off the phone with the client and according to him, we got pretty much everything that he needed. I think there are only like four individual documents that I couldn't get, which is no big deal. Uh, considering what uh, this drive had uh, coming for it. So basically, just to recap, this drive had a scratch. Uh, this drive had several uh, pittings on the platter surface that the heads could have collided with and crashed instantly. Uh, this drive had to launch off of uh, uh, data area, which also can lock the drive and not let it spin even. So a lot of things actually had to line up for us to make this recovery uh, possible and make it successful, for which I'm glad it did. And uh, obviously the uh, little uh, hot glue gun here was a hero today. Thanks glue gun, you really hooked us up. 
I really hope you guys learned something new today. If you did, definitely hit like. Well, hit like if you didn't learn anything new as well. That would be nice. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that recovery subject. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.